up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am go pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 mitsubishi mirage courtesy of younger mitsubishi in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because this actually has a starting price at under fifteen thousand dollars which is unheard of these days and so i recently reviewed this today i wanted to check out the hatchback now because this one is a little bit less expensive actually there's several changes for the 2022 model year as well not only that you get america's best warranty being five years sixty thousand mile bumper to bumper ten years one hundred thousand miles on the powertrain but not only that if you were to drive out to younger mitsubishi in hagerstown you actually get a double powertrain warranty meaning 20 years two hundred thousand miles that is absolutely insane but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2022 mirage first one being the es five speed manual starting at fourteen thousand six hundred and forty five dollars es cvt which actually is the one we have today starting at fifteen thousand nine ninety five le for sixteen thousand five ninety five black edition which is a new trim level for the 2022 model year starting at 17,195 and lastly the SE starting at $17,895 but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the Mirage is going to be the same powering the little beast is a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated inline three cylinder engine putting out 76 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 74 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,000 rpm power set to the front wheels through either a five speed manual or a CVT. Zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 12 seconds, but we will be testing that out here in a little bit. MPG numbers though, coming in at 33 in the city, 41 on the highway from the manual, 36 in the city, 43 then on the highway for the CVT, taking regular unleaded fuel. But now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put that acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Mitsubishi Mirage here up to speed. All right, here we go. And we're at 40, 45, 50. 55 stay alive. We probably would have gotten to 60 eventually there, but yeah, it's not the quickest thing in the world, but yeah, I don't know, it's kind of as expected for the price range. For the miles per gallon that you get are also incredible, but yeah, it's definitely not the quickest thing in the world, I'll say that. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So you will find front disc rear drum brakes coming standard for all trim levels across the board. Nine inch ventilated front disc to be specific, seven inch rear drum brakes then. 60 to zero stopping distance comes in at 127 feet. And still, it's not the best. I gotta say, even for a small car, it's not the best. Having said that, braking feel is definitely on the softer side. So I wouldn't have minded if they firmed up the brakes a little bit. It's not bad. It's just definitely on the softer side is all. But then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, torsion beam rear axle. As far as ride quality goes, you do tend to feel a little bit more of the road really in any subcompact car, including the Mirage. So that's definitely to be expected. Having said that, it's not too bad in my short test drive here today so far, but then again, Hagerstown roads are usually pretty darn good, so definitely having no issues so far. As far as steering feel goes, it's pretty much as expected. It's normal. It's not on the heavy side. It's definitely not on the looser side either. It's pretty much par for the course, what I would expect the Mirage to handle like. As far as cabin noise goes, you do get a decent amount of wind noise, and you definitely get a good bit of engine noise when you really lay on the gas here, so good bit of noise coming into the cabin without a doubt. Having said that, if you're a car guy or girl it's probably not going to bother you because you like that engine noise and touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back you're 100 not going to have any issues there either but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 mitsubishi mirage all right so here she is you guys the new 2022 mitsubishi mirage finished in white diamond in case anybody was curious of our exterior color name let's go ahead and get started with what's new regarding the exterior of the 2022 mirage revised front and rear fascias to start with also the headlights and taillights have been updated slightly 
as well. Not a huge change, but just a slight little change there. Black Edition also is going to obviously add black accents along with some red horizontal accents on the front grille as opposed to the chrome ones that we currently have here today. Essentially, all other trims are going to get those chrome accents on the front grille. Halogen headlights are going to come standard on all trims, but the SE, because the SE is actually going to give you full LED headlights, meaning both low beam and high beam. That is a luxury feature, you guys, but it is on the Mirage SC, so that's pretty cool. As far as the automatic feature goes, that can be had on two trim levels, being the Black Edition and the SE trims. Then looking down, you will see some cutouts for the fog lights on our ES, but if you actually did want to add fog lights, they're, they're going to come standard on the Black Edition and SE trims as well. But pretty much rounds out the front end. I do like the slight revision. I think it still looks good, just like I said in last year's review. So definitely a good looking front end, but let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the Mirage. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, black window surrounds do come standard body color door handles for all trim levels. I like to mention that because sometimes on less expensive cars, you will get matte black door handles. So I do like that they're body colored. When it comes to the side mirrors, they are body colored folding side mirrors for all trim levels. And they actually will get integrated turn signals for the SE trim level only. Although you don't really need them quite honestly. I like the look. They actually put the turn signal indicators on the front fenders. It's a JDM look. JDM cars have done that for such a long time now. I prefer that quite honestly. I think that's a pretty cool look. But anyways, when it comes to the wheel configurations, 14 inch steel wheels with covers for the ES. That's of course what you guys are looking at right now. 14 inch alloys for the LE, 15 inch black alloys for the black edition, and then 15 inch silver alloys for the SE trim level. But pretty much rounds out the side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back of the Mirage. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, this is the best look on this one, if my personal opinion. You do have a black antenna all the way to the top there on the roof, just below that body colored rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Definitely looks very good on the Mirage. Just below that rear window wiper, but my very favorite part of this one LED taillights coming standard for every single trim level across the board. That is huge, especially in smaller vehicles. You want people to be able to see you from behind because you don't want to get rear-ended, of course. So LED taillights are amazing and they look dang good on the back of the Mirage, in my personal opinion. Going down to the very bottom there, you will find a body color rear diffuser. That looks pretty darn good back there as well. There is a single exhaust outlet tucked away towards the bottom there, but as always here is that exhaust clip. Alright, so but now since we are around to the back of the Mirage, when it comes to opening that rear hatch, it is a manual lift gate, so simply just lift up on the handle on the hatch itself. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 17.1 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, those rear seats actually do fold down. So there's then a good bit of added extra cargo space there if you needed it. There is a cargo light, obviously, in that area. If you lift up underneath of the cargo floor, you will find a spare tire, which is always nice as well. And there's actually a cargo cover that comes standard on the hatchback, at least, as well. Well, so that's pretty nice. Then make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 34.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that second row there. Then there is no center armrest. There's no charging ports or ventilation or anything like that. Quite honestly, in this size of the vehicle, you probably don't need any of that anyways. Then make our way to the front seats. Manually adjustable cloth seating does come standard for all trim levels across the board. However, I will say the SE trim level is not only going to give you a cloth leatherette finish, but it's also going to give you heated front seats then as well so overall when it comes to seat comfort it's okay not the most comfortable seats obviously because there's no real power lumbar support or anything like that they're enough to get by basically but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt it is not telescoping it is wrapped in urethane for all trim levels but the se because that se is actually going to give you a leather wrap steering wheel which is pretty nice then make our way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your mitsubishi logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock and unlock so pretty basic key there but we'll say with the se trim level it is a push button start actually, but we don't have that today, unfortunately. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake 
and turn the key. So then when it comes to the gauge cluster tachometers, all the way to your left speedometer is front and center. And there is a very small portion of digital gauges that gives you just your basics, like how much gas you have left, trip A, trip B, things like that. But all of your indicator lights are gonna then be on the right side of everything there. Then make our way to overall interior quality. There is a front passenger vanity mirror, which is newly standard for the 2022 model year. That wasn't there last year. So wanted to mention that that's basically the new feature when it comes to the inside of the Mirage. Did want to say that when it comes to SE trim, that's going to add a good bit when it comes to the interior quality, including a leather wrap shift knob, some carbon pattern window switch panels, gloss black shift panel then as well. However, all trims are going to get automatic climate control, meaning you just set a temperature and the Mirage is automatically going to take you to that temperature. So that's pretty cool. Just in front of the shifter, you have a USB charging port, a little slot where you can put your cell phone. There are dual cup holders behind all of that. And then you have a manual emergency brake just behind the shifter then as well but overall interior quality is pretty basic pretty to the point so nothing crazy when it comes to that then make your way to the infotainment screen seven inch color touchscreen display is going to come standard on all trim levels across the board bluetooth and audio streaming also coming standard but android auto apple carplay also coming standard meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up via usb cable to the mirage and your free navigation displayed up on the infotainment screen and the reason i'm emphasizing this so much is because this is a very inexpensive car and at this price range you actually still don't always get that so that is pretty darn cool but anyways you can check out your radio information up there as well by the way when it comes to the sound system there is one of them and that is four speakers for every trim level across the board so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today Day, and let's test out the clarity of this one. I know it's four speakers, you guys. It's definitely not the most exciting sound system out there. It should get the job done for the size of this vehicle, but definitely not my favorite sound system I've ever tested. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Mirage in reverse, you will find a rear view camera taking up the entire screen, which you don't always get, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear tire door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard will include a forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian detection then hill start assist as well then if you were to go with the se trim you were also going to get lean departure warning then as well but overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the mirage this is an excellent price quite possibly the most inexpensive vehicle available at least here in the u.s as of right now you get america's best warranty not only that if you go to younger mitsubishi here in hagerstown you get double powertrain warranty which you can use anywhere in the u.s by the way you could drive all the way from new york and still get that double power powertrain warranty which is going to be honored wherever you're at android auto apple carplay coming standard is wonderful as well as far as room for improvement goes of course it's extremely slow seats are definitely not the most comfortable seats in the world and the sound system is pretty poor quite honestly but anyways let me know what you guys think of the mirage hatchback in the comments section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know. I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.